Hello. Yes, hello. I'm looking for Mrs. Wayne Garton, please. Who's speaking? This is here. I got your number from somebody at home. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I'm calling up. Uh, apparently there were some problems. Well, I meant to come back to finish the job, but they sent one man on a Friday at four o'clock and they took one look and said, I need somebody else to help me with this. That was over two weeks ago. I mean, I had nothing but trouble with this window since it went in. <laughs> came out and we sorted it all out and they got somebody else out. Were you uh, rude or abusive to them? Was I rude or abusive to them? That, that's right, yeah. No, on the contrary. The first two guys that came out were rude to me. You said, I hope you tidy up the mess. Yes. I had to pay a gardener five hours. I had just had newly laid a monoblock. It was completely, it was destroyed what they did. There were cigarette butts lying, thick with glass everywhere. That's how they left it. <laughs> came out and he saw the mess. What did <laughs> say? He was shocked. That's why he said, you go ahead and get it cleaned up and we'll pay to have it cleaned up. Absolute disgrace. Now, I have used your firm for, I had front windows put in last June. I mean, if you look back, my style, you'll see I've used you. I'd never use you again after the way, it was disgraceful, right. these two boys, the way they spoke. You, you're not, you're saying you're not going to use this again? I'd think twice, certainly think twice about using you again. No, I'm sorry, I'm going to overrule. There's no way that we can pay that bill. The place was disgusting. It was disgusting. He told me to go ahead and do it. Well, I'm, uh, I'm overruling him. He'd no business doing that. So, so you mean I've got to pay for your men's mess? Absolutely. Uh, what do you mean absolutely? Can you, how can a firm like that, like you say that? You should have seen my neighbours work came across. They were because a few of my neighbours have used you. They were absolutely shocked. The first day when the job was meant to be done on the Monday, they never appeared. Mondays are busy days. Ah, well, that's not my fault. They knew what they were coming for. So they came on Thursday. The windows went in. They broke a window again. Now, you're telling me I haven't had aggravation. I haven't exactly had the best service from... Having used you frequently and was planning to use you again. If you're not going to use us again, I, mean, I don't see why we should pay the bill. It was disgusting the way the job was left. Can I disgusting. just... Disgusting. May I, may I put it to you, Mrs. Wingarten, that you're a serial complainer? I don't complain, but on this occasion, I had every right to complain. They were very impolite to me. All well, they, they're telling me that you were rude and abusive. Well, I don't really care what they're saying. My lady was standing next to me in the house and asked, is it rude and abusive to say, could you please make sure you clear up? I don't think that's rude and abusive. Did that you use the <laughs> word? I beg your pardon, how dare you ask me that? I certainly did not. I don't know who you think you're talking to. I, said, I don't know who you are. But I thought you dare ask me that. Of course I never used <laughs> That isn't the kind of language I use. Maybe well, you do, but I certainly don't. Well, these two men are telling me that that's what you said. Well, I can tell you over a Bible, over anything, over my children's life. Because I've got one son who's a lawyer, another chain, that I never said <laughs> use that language. I don't care what they say, but I'm telling you they're telling you lies. And it's your choice whether you believe them or you believe me. But I can tell you, I could swear on my four children's lives, I <laughs> certainly did not use I can't believe you're even asking me that. You said you didn't swear. <laughs> but I did not swear. But now you're saying you're going to swear on your, your children. Oh, oh, come on. You're just twisting it. You know if I'm well what I'm saying. I'm si oh, Come on. I'm not swearing a bad swear word. I'm saying on my children's life, I wouldn't say something like that. I don't know. I don't know actually who you are. What was your position in the company? I do the Real Radio Breakfast Show. Robin Galloway's my name, and I got an email from your husband. Lana. Oh, for God's sake! I don't believe you. My husband's actually in hospital today, so he won't even have heard this. I don't believe it. Did you use the F word? <laughs> no, I didn't use the F word, but I'm about to use it. Obviously. <laughs> I can't believe you've just done this to me. <laughs> My little Bob listens to you every morning going to school. You just watch your language when you're talking to my man. <laughs> I can't believe you. Don't you really wind me up? The government has many policies on paper to improve the lot. <laughs>